Hello everyone, just Gore here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo real life inspiration video. Today we are looking at the beautiful African buffalo right over here. I'm back from my Belgium trip, so I got some new zoos to show you, so let's get right into it. We're starting off with the Beekseberge, of course. <laughs> Whenever there's a Beekseberge animal, we have to show it first because I'm biased. <laughs> so over here we are at the giraffe field of the Beekseberge. And on the giraffe field, we can also see African buffalo. Why did I say that so weird? Um, but what's actually more interesting about this exhibit is what you don't see. And we'll get into that as we are going to have a look at this exhibit from the car safari because over here we can't see it all that well. So let's go on the car safari. We just need to get past this giraffe. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> this is uh, this is what you get. Mr. Giraffe, this isn't your video. Please, please get out of the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> so let's get to the African buffalo right over here. And you can see it looks just like they are in the same space as all the other animals on this field. It's actually very well done that even from your car, you cannot see that there is actually a moat in there. Um, you can see it a little bit from this view where there's a hill going up on our side and we can see that the terrain goes down um, next to those giraffes and then you get the uh, buffalo habitat. You can also see there's a fence coming up out of the background there, a little wooden fence and that's actually a fence that goes through the entire moat of the African buffalo over here. So it's super well hidden and it works really well because yeah African buffalo of course are super dangerous and you would not want them on the car safari with people driving around if you don't want to get so many lawsuits. So over here you got an even better view of that fence from the bus because of course the bus is a little bit higher so it's a bit harder to hide that. But next up we have the zoo of Antwerp and in the zoo of Antwerp we first encounter the African buffalo from this cave over here in which we get a view of their stalls. Or well, stalls, it's not really their stalls, it's just an, uh, a shelter. I guess and it's actually really cool with all the logs around the supporting pillars and uh, yeah you can just see them vibing here. I've heard that this is where they spent most of their time usually just kind of vibing over here um, but what's really special about this African buffalo habitat is that we are actually inside of a walkthrough aviary so let's go outside and check out a little bit of that. So we go through these flaps over here to get into the walkthrough aviary and there's all sorts of birds flying around here, hammer, cob, vultures, you name it, all of the African kind of typical African birds uh, you can find here. And yeah, there's netting over top, all the things you need for a walkthrough aviary, not for the buffalo, interestingly enough, you know, they don't tend to need netting overhead. <laughs> but yeah, over there you can see one of the vultures. Um, it's super super cool uh, what they did here so of course the main enclosure over here is for the african buffalo but the birds can just get in there that's no problem there's hot wire around to keep the buffalo from the visitor side um, because yeah this is definitely the closest i've been to an african buffalo not counting the forest buffalo which is a lot more calm and uh, less dangerous <laughs> So over here, uh, this building we can see right now is actually an old rhino backstage building, which is pretty interesting. I think at the moment it's just used for birds. Uh, you can see that the buffalo can't even reach it because the terrain is elevated over there. So um, yeah, it's really interesting. It's probably one of the coolest rhino backstages I've ever seen. Oh yeah, over here I can see some education on the buffalo, some of their names, and as we leave the aviary uh, we get one more viewpoint of the uh, yeah, kind of habitat of it uh, which has these stripes on the glass I think that's just for the birds and yeah you're <laughs> eye to eye with the buffalo here which is pretty crazy not a place you want to be if it weren't for the fact that there's probably some extra protection and not just some glass here <laughs> anyway last zoo will be Paradisa uh, this is of course a very well known high budget zoo with some pretty incredible things and um, not sure if the buffalo habitat is necessarily one of those uh, i'll let you be the judge of that but we do have a beautiful rock wall in the back here and i think this is part of the buffalo habitat 
Similar to the Bexbergen, if we look all the way in the distance, we can see the buffalo back there. Uh, actually, exactly like in the Bexbergen. They have a little moat separating them from the other savannah animals. So it's not just the fact that Bexbergen has a walkthrough <laughs> or a drive-through enclosure uh, that they have to be separated. I guess they're also just dangerous to other animals in general. Um, but yeah. Very much the same technique here uh, used to separate them but i think they can also get into that area on the left here i think that is connected to their other area so they can get in front here so you can get a bit of a better look at them because right now they are pretty hard to see if you don't have like a some binoculars or a camera with a good zoom but yeah that is it for african buffalo enclosures there really isn't that much more to say about them i mean they're a big cow, <laughs> a big strong cow that need a lot of uh, reinforced stuff to keep them away from people. But uh, overall, I think they're just a cow. <laughs> so yeah, hope this gave you some inspiration for making African buffalo enclosures. And I will see you all in the next real life inspiration video. See you then. Bye bye.